Hey guys, I'm Jillian and I'm going to show you how to clean your Shark Hyper Air Filter. We recommend that you do this deep clean once a month to clean up some of that tough, stuck on debris that can get on the mesh filter of your unit. First, I will show you how to make your soapy water cleaning solution. Start with 1 4 cup of warm water, then add 5 drops of standard dish soap. Mix the solution thoroughly. You should see a small layer of bubbles beginning to form at the top of the mixture, which will indicate that it has been mixed well. This solution will help to loosen and remove some of the more stubborn debris that you can't clean away with the shark cleaning brush alone. In addition to the soapy water cleaning solution, you will need a small cup of pure water, either tap water or filtered water with no soap, cleaning chemicals, or detergents present, the small shark cleaning brush that was included in your shark hyper air box. If you've lost or misplaced your small cleaning brush, you can use a new clean toothbrush instead. Eight to 10 standard cotton swabs, and a clean cloth or paper towels for drying. Before you start cleaning your Shark Hyper Air, make sure it's turned off and unplugged. To start, grab the small Shark cleaning brush or toothbrush. Gently brush the mesh filter on the back of the hair dryer with the small cleaning brush to remove any excess dust or large debris that has collected. Make sure to brush from the center IQ logo toward the outer edge of your Hyper Air unit. Keep brushing until you have done a complete pass around the entire unit it is important to try to remove as much of the dust and debris buildup as possible during this step before introducing the liquid cleaning solution. Next, hold your hyper air unit on its side. This will prevent any excess liquid from dipping directly into the hair dryer during cleaning. Dip a cotton swab into the soapy water solution and gently scrub each section of the mesh filter. Dip the cotton swab in the soapy water solution as needed. Replace the cotton swab if it begins to break apart or deteriorate so you don't leave behind any additional debris. After you have done a complete pass all the way around the mesh filter using your soapy water solution, repeat this process using the pure water and fresh cotton swabs to help remove any soap residue from the mesh filter. Make sure to keep holding your hyper air unit on its side. Dip the cotton swab in the pure water as needed and be sure to change out the cotton swab if it begins to break apart or deteriorate. After completing a second pass all the way around the mesh filter using pure water, hold your hyper unit face up and pat dry the mesh filter area of the hair dryer using a clean cloth or paper towel. Try to get into each small section if possible to help collect the excess water that has been left behind. Repeat the previous three steps, soapy water scrubbing, clean water scrubbing, and pat dry as needed until mesh filter is clean and free of dust and debris. Next, place your hyper air unit face up on a dry cloth or folded paper towel. Allow to air dry for at least 24 hours. After allowing your hyper air unit to dry for at least 24 hours, plug it in and power it on. Run on the highest airflow setting for at least two minutes. The airflow settings can be toggled with the left button beside the fan icon on the back of your unit. Your hair dryer is in max airflow mode when all three white LEDs are illuminated. This step will remove any remaining moisture in order to prevent any potential damage to your Shark Hyper Air hair dryer. Your Shark Hyper Air is now clean and ready to start drying and styling again. Make sure you clean your hair dryer often to maintain its performance and to prevent overheating. For more tips and tricks, visit sharkbeauty.com.